Welcome back to this is episode um, like six now. Yeah, six. Episode six of the Hustlers Diary. I'm Dylan. I'm Alan. And we're your hosts. And we're uh, documenting the growth of our business, our social brands. Yeah, Reverie Media. Reverie Media. Our marketing agency. I guess we're kind of switching paths with the podcast, or what? Yeah, like we'll still have guests on here and there, but we've been so busy grinding. Um, like Alan's still grinding his real estate. He's learning um, how to brand himself. He's growing exponentially as always for, for the business. He's hands-on doing it, and I'm also working, right? So we can't always get the guests on, so we're going to focus more on valuable content, Yeah. educational content. Hopefully yeah. these podcasts help you if you're a marketer or a digital like agency owner. Or if you're like a real estate agent or someone that just wants to learn how to market yeah. and brand themselves on social media. Yeah. Because right. that's what you've been doing hands on, like yeah. real time. Yeah. Right. So I guess, yeah, since we last spoke, what's changed? What's, what's been happening? Uh, I guess for me personally, like the real estate market's taking a shift. How so? <laughs> it's just, <laughs> <laughs> it's a, it's a crazy seller's market, so. You know, if you're a realtor and you're getting a lot of listings, then that's pretty easy. But a lot of realtors, especially in Calgary, they're doing buyers on the buyer side. So yep. it's tough for people to close deals. Like I know this one person, she had to put in like eight offers in order to close a deal. One so deal. That, yeah. So like a person, imagine you're buying a home yep. and you like, like you, you're searching for months. You finally like one, you put an offer and you don't land it eight times. Yeah. That must be frustrating. Yeah. So it's tough, but. Um, I mean, the only thing you can do is just continue on marketing yourself and, and branding yourself online because that's like forever, right? Yep. When the market picks back up, you still want to have that foundation on social media. So it's important to not give it up and not lose sight of posting and generating leads through your organic social. Yeah. And like we have a client with, for every media, we're working with realtors, right? What do you think, like, I know for us, like, what do you honestly think? Because we've been running ads for him the past three months. Yeah. And you're saying this market is, is quite difficult. Like, offers are being rejected. We ran mostly buyer ads for him. Like, what do you think we could have done better? Just because when yeah. I look back at it, like, the lead gen was, was kind of there, but the quality's not there. For agency owners now, I guess, who are in the real estate niche, like, if you're dealing with this kind of market, what do you think we could have done better? I think with us, it's like, well, he didn't have a lot. He didn't have like a brand to himself, and he didn't have a lot of attention on his page as well. Mm -hmm. So like, we were kind of starting from the ground zero. But on top of that, I don't want to like. That's not the sole reason. I think. Yeah. Like, yeah. It's probably the creative as well. Okay. Right. So it's not as simple. Like, I guess with the agency to give some game to people watching this, like. It's not as simple as just clicking the button these days. No, no, no. It's like yeah. it's yeah. it's we. I mean. A lot of people probably think that. Yeah, yeah. Because like, if everyone could do that, then everyone would have a great agency, right? But true. in order to provide results, it's not as easy as clicking publish. Yeah. Okay. So it's back back to the creative. Like I think for twenty twenty four and beyond, it's about attention, right? Yeah. So regardless, sure. you said he didn't have a lot of attention, but we we spent a lot on his ads compared to like yeah, the yeah. results we got for you. Let's say. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we, we spent a lot of ads, but I, I mean, his, I guess his organic side. Yeah. What do you think? Yeah, I think is, I think he's missing that like organic side of things. You know, when we hop on podcasts, I mean not podcasts, excuse me. When we hop on like calls, we always have our foundational like yeah. pillars, right? And that first pillar is your organic branding. Mm -hmm. It's all about the attention from organic. And I think we just like skipped that stuff because we're excited to sign the, <laughs> sign the agent. Yeah, it's a process. Like. Yeah, I think our, of course, I think even our paid creatives could have been better. Yeah, I think. Um, as we grow as an agency, it's been a year, so it's been a year since, yeah. since we started this. I think as we grow in the paid space, and now we're learning actually how to run paid ads, I think we'll be able to do better service delivery because at the end of the day, it's it's a science, but it's also an art. Yeah, it is, yeah. Like <laughs> creativity, no, right? It it's, but it's a science, again, because at the end of the day, you have to look at your data and metrics and see what's working yeah. and what isn't. And with them, it's like, we ran that same ad with so many like different variables which we never tracked. That's like another big mistake is like always track your data. Yeah. Track what you're changing. Do your A B testing. Yeah, we we're kinda amateurs to be honest. Yeah, we were. It was yeah. 
I mean, I think we could definitely could have been more creative. I think we would just be rushed into it too quick. We didn't take yeah. time to plan out the creatives or we kind of just did it on the fly. You know what I mean? Yeah. And we kind of just chose the location and then we were like, let's just do it, right? Yeah, for sure. We had I the script and everything, but I don't think we had play by play. Yeah, right. no, for sure. And now, now that we've been doing more education on paid digital, there was way, way more different angles we could have approached it, mm -hmm. right? Um, we thought video was everything. We didn't even try like really a picture ad, right? Yeah. Um, yeah. There's so much. There's so much to this digital uh, online marketing space. It's just, it's just a, a lot of learning, honestly. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it takes time. Like, yeah, it's not like we were. We haven't been doing this for, we've been doing organic and stuff for years and you've built your own page, I've built my own page, but I guess yeah. into like the... It's different. It's different, Completely yeah. Completely different. Yeah. I think, um, yeah, I guess I guess for organic game for realtors, yeah. <laughs> right? You yourself, you're, you're a realtor still. What would you say yeah. during like markets like these? Like, would you say still pump content every day? Yeah, I know you do the listing videos, like the showings yeah. of the house. Do you think that's what every realtor should do? No, I don't think every real, like... Because I see a lot of copycats now. Yeah, everyone's doing it because it's, I guess, it's the trend in real yep. estate. But no, I don't think... Like, I, I think providing a lot of educational content is kind of what's working right now. But it's also, like, to each their own. Like, if you're if they don't do well on camera or if they don't show the home well and they're not, it's not working for them, but they're really knowledgeable and they can promote that side of their brand. Yeah. Like, they just got to be authentic, you know? Yeah, they yeah. Promote what you want to promote, but... But back to like posting every day, that's definitely like, even though the market's, yeah, tough right now, it's still important to post because the people that are posting every day right now, they're going to see the, the dividend, the payout exactly, when the market's yeah. good, right? Because yeah. they built that brand and like, like, I'm not even kidding, like that organic brand for you agency owners, like make sure your client has a strong base because like with 70% of the ad spend we spent on Allen, we got like way better results than way a realtor better, yeah. without any like kind of brand. And we threw yeah. way more money at it. And money isn't always gonna solve the problem. Yeah. Especially not in this space, especially when you're competing. It's an attention like seeking game. Like you're competing for attention, not just with other advertisers, right? Yeah. With like Netflix, with YouTube. <laughs> right? Like you're you're it's not just if people think, yo, you're just throwing money, you're competing on the Facebook feed or in the Instagram feed. It's not. It's you're competing with all the attention. Literally. Literally, like yeah. someone can go to the Cineplex, thing. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like exactly. the Cineplex the movies, Cineplex. Yeah, like yeah. watch a movie, yeah. his attention is already directed to the movie, he's not on his phone scrolling, so yeah. you got to think bigger, and I think, as we learn, like, I want to get back into creating content, yeah. viral content, like viral motivation, I think that'll help us learn more of the elements and aspects of, of content creation in so, the paid yeah. digital. Yeah, so what do you want to create, like, what's your, what do you, what's well, your brand focus on? I think, like, self, self-improvement, self-improvement. Cause like it can be through business, fitness, even it can be anything. I self think self improvement can be even in the realtor space. You can be a better realtor. Mm -hmm. You can always be better. You can always be better. So I'm gonna craft it around that. And I sent you a reel. Yeah. I want to create with you. Yeah, we'll make it. Yeah. Yeah, cause that's like that's kind of what's trending right now. It's like voiceovers of all the. Hmm? You should make it before you leave. Yeah, we yeah. should. It's it's like voiceover of uh, all these successful gurus like Alex Ramosi. You know, Patrick Bepp, David, Chris Williamson. So it's just voiceover and then like clips of yourself, right? So I think I'm gonna create that side of the content. But at the end of the day, like I said in the beginning of this podcast, things are sh always pivoting because we're so freaking busy. Yeah. Which There's is fine. On. I mean, we both have our own personal, personal lives. Like, I'm still doing real estate and I'm still selling like, a, like I'm in tech sales basically. Yeah. Right. So. But that's the thing. I think the key factor of, of this of entrepreneurship and, and just what we do, like where income is based off of pure performance, you gotta adapt, mm -hmm. right? You gotta adapt, and like that's why this whole episode I think is just about branding and, and marketing. Because even with branding, marketing, you gotta adapt. Yeah, yeah. That's like definitely. the key word of this podcast is ad adapt, <laughs> adapt <laughs> right? <Yeah. laughs> and like I think non, I think even ourselves like. You know, we've actually grown the agency quite, like, I, I'm very proud of ourselves, actually, during this podcast now. Yeah. Because last podcast episode, I think we said we lost, we lost a client, right? Yeah, we lost but a But now we right? signed, like, three different brands on, yeah. like, in the past week. week. And, and for, way, for way more. Way more. Yeah. Just more value. Um, but I think a lot of people just, and including ourselves, don't adapt 
with marketing. Marketing is just testing what works. It's a non-stop work, like you said. Yeah. No, right? it's just, yes. Yeah, so much testing. Too much. It's like sometimes you think you're creative and you think the video will go viral, but it does shit, you know? Yeah. yeah so I think it's just back to, I think that's another mistake we made. We didn't test. We never tested anything, mm -hmm. to be honest. We mm -hmm. kind of just did one thing. We never tested like real estate rap or anything. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we should though. We should. And I think like, yeah, again, like there's literally a definition in the dictionary that says marketing. What is marketing? It's not in the dictionary, but I forgot where I read it. Just says what is marketing marketing is literally just testing what yeah. works and doesn't work yeah. that's the definition marketing is testing what works and doesn't work and we didn't do any of that yeah because like we've had some success with paid advertising like the restaurant mm -hmm. that went boom 150 data points collected mm -hmm. with like low ad spend yeah. yours um so yeah just keep testing if you guys are running paid digital your agency literally focused on paid digital and you're not gaining any traction Make sure you test a lot of ad creatives with your clients and ensure that you, they understand that as well. Yeah, and make sure you're, they're also building that organic foundation because that's huge. Like, yeah. you know, if you're trying to get them attention just pure by dollars, it's not going to work as well as if someone yeah. else had, is doing the same thing, but they already have attention. Okay. I guess for people wanting to get into building their personal brand, yeah. like not even in an agency, um, what's one of the most important things you would want to say to them if they're scared? Because I know even me, like, I haven't posted my face. If I don't post my face or post content for, like, two, three weeks, I'm already, like, oh, I have to post. Yeah. You know? And I posted a lot back then, like, three times a day. So even, so someone like me, like, even now, I'm like, oh, I have to post. Like, what do you think of someone who actually really wants to post? Never posted before. They're, like, 500 followers on their private. You got to start from somewhere. Everyone starts from some point. It's not like you start your Instagram account with a 1,000 followers, sure. right? Like, yeah. I started mine with, again, from zero. Everyone starts from zero, right? Yeah. You started with zero, yeah, you have friends, maybe 500, 600, but if you just keep posting every day, you get better through repetition, first thing. And the more your face is out there, the more people can relate, and I think you'll start to gain that traction over time. But it takes, again, back to marketing, it's a lot of testing too, right? Posting every day, repetition, building skills, and just testing what works and what doesn't work. Yeah, and that's a, that's a great point, I think we're switching on to like branding and, and growing organically, which is again, great for paid ads, right? Yeah. <laughs> I'm thinking about your, your first video. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You guys should see Alan's first video. Oh yeah. Yeah. That was Bro, terrible. It was, I'm going to cut this up into a short and I'm going to throw your first video in there. <laughs> nah, don't do it. I'm going to do that. Don't expose me, bro. <laughs> I'm going to expose it you, bro. Was, uh, we got to grow the bad, page. But. And we're, you know, here's another thing. We're also doing street interviews. Yeah. So I guess like, Let's talk about that, like, quickly. Like, what's what's going on with Reverie Calgary and Hustler's Diary Spade? Yeah, we're, I guess we're switching to more viral content now. Mm -hmm. And we're going to do more street interviews. And just trying to blow up the page. We, we were really niche in the Calgary market, but I think we're going to switch to now. Or we're going to switch to just keeping it more global, keeping it more relatable. And it doesn't have to be, like, Calgary content specifically. It still will be some of it, but... Um, we're just trying to test virality and, and see what works and basically just go viral. Yeah, on TikTok too, Reverie Media. Yeah. And then Hustler's Diary will be more so like these clips are filler. Yeah. Yeah, and then try and try and like more business. Business, right? Yeah, yeah. try and try and like interview business owners, um, give game, like give value, give value like, yeah. for agency owners. And then I guess like what's the vision? Like there's so many agency owners now. Like, are we just the same agency, or are we building a company? Um, are we just, like, a paid ads agency, or, or are we going to be a one-stop shop for everything? Uh, I, I think in the future, our vision is to go one-stop shop for everything. Maybe not one-stop shop for everything, but we're trying to build, like, a company that has different departments, so it's not focused on one service slash one department. But, our, yeah, our vision in the future is definitely to go yeah. more departments. I mean, you can speak on that, too. Yeah, I think I think right now we've worked with like realtors, restaurants, and like you know some startups. Yeah, like AI. Yeah, startups. AI startup. Uh, we worked with, with uh, developers. Developers, soccer clinic. Soccer clinics, like we're everywhere. But you know, uh, Hormozy says niche down, which I do agree. If we want, like that's where we should start. But yeah, in the future, we we can do everything because back to the fundamentals of branding, marketing, it's very much the same. Yeah. For like branding, marketing, virality, 
and then it's just honing in those those niche points mm -hmm. you know i guess talking about niches back to organic following would you say go viral build your brand by going with the trends because what if someone's like yo i don't know what to post no like for example yeah. i you remember the content I posted back in the day, yeah, like yeah. depressing, red pill, sad boy, Sigma content. Yeah. I, I, that was not me. Yeah. Would you say someone go down that path if they have zero followers, just get viral first and then go into what they actually like? Or do you think they should now in 2024 start posting what they like and just organically grow that, even though it'll probably take a lot longer? Because if it's not trending, it's not trending. Yeah, like I think... Yeah, I think you should definitely post what you like because you'll last longer in the game. <laughs> it's true. It's right? true. Yeah. You'll last yeah, longer in the game, right? Because, so. um, yeah, you just won't, I guess you won't stop posting. But another thing is like, yeah, trends are great, but I also think like being more innovative and creating your own kind of thing is is like the new thing. Because like trends are everywhere. Like you won't, sure you'll do a trend, whatever, but you won't stand out from the rest of the crowd, right? Back to the purple cow, right? Yeah, yeah. So the, the idea of the purple cow is if you drive by a field of cows and you see all these white, black cows, whatever, and you see one purple cow, you'll literally get out the car and like be like, wow, that's a purple cow, right? But for the rest of the cows, you won't do that. So it's just the idea of grabbing their attention and being different than yeah. the rest of the crowd. Yeah, I know. I think there's a saying that goes that new is better than better. Yeah. Right? Like I know... A, elite agency owners or elite creatives like Vincent van Gogh was a painter right van Gogh yeah European painter like they're not copying each other's painting right you might take a little bit of inspiration but the greats actually never copied anybody in terms of artwork and yeah. I think I hear from elite agency owners like a lot of them don't even look at the Facebook ads library anymore you know that's how you can tell the level of sophistication your own agency is because a lot of these tutorials on how to run Facebook ads or like start creatives is just like the first thing to tell you is to go on Facebook ads library yeah which is terrible in my opinion now because we've done that yeah and we're not getting just results copy yeah. literally copy paste chat GPT mm -hmm. do you think chat GPT should be I think, used yeah I think we use it <laughs> I know we use it so I just wanted your take on it for the creative side yeah I think it's I think it can give you ideas to spark to like spark the ideas, but I think like yeah. you definitely have to be in, like you have to be innovative. You can't just use like rely on ChatGPT. Yeah, sure. no. Or AI. I agree with you. It's not. It's too robotic. Yes. Yeah, you too have robotic. to be very innovative. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. I guess. Um. Yeah. Agency's been going well. You're still posting real estate content. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Should we get the King Calgary back on? We can. <laughs> yeah, and we'll we'll be we'll be uh starting to post more like now with CapCut back to AI yeah CapCut can yeah we're back on podcast yeah three hours of podcast yeah. and like like this so what's the, what's the vision with the podcast now I think still bring on guests who have done like really fascinating things yeah in the business realm because it's still business right but I think when it's me and you we should just talk value like whether that's fitness whether that's biohacking yeah mindset yeah. branding a lot of branding agency you know stuff because I think the cool thing about the podcast is, is again, we own a, a social media marketing agency, a digital marketing agency. We're 25. We're yeah. not super young. Um, but we started this business a year ago. And I think we can give real-time advice. Yeah. You know, when this is posted, everything we just talked about is, is relevant, at least. Whoever's yeah. watching this and needs some agency agency game if you have your own agency from let's say like one to five k a month five to ten k i think this podcast currently will benefit you you know we're on the no, same journey yeah 100 percent. Yeah. so i think being able to talk again anything marketing related anything content related systems even you know yeah that's a whole other topic we could talk about in the next episode systems, how's building yeah. the agency system yeah how's being organized how's building procedures we have we're hiring employees right yeah, that's a whole different topic. I think that's the plan of the podcast. When it's me and you talking, it should be very value driven. For sure, for yeah. that like zero to ten k. So know? that's the that's the vision. Yeah, until we go like until we hit that you know twenty five k mark, fifteen k yeah. mark. So every step, it's like it's like a documentary with with value in it. I think. Yeah. 
We're growing. You're building. You're growing. We're, we're both we're growing. growing. Yeah, we're growing for like crazy. So yeah. I think these podcasts are like, you know, we're working so so much. That's not even a lie. So much. That's why there's been no guests because it's just not on it's our no, minds. Yeah, well, we have. Yeah, there's no time, I guess. None, but yeah, I'm gonna give you the Reverie Calgary content. Yeah, I can and edit that. I'll also make a, a post, but we're pivoting, so stay tuned for it, and we'll we'll end it here. I yeah, there's a lot of I think that was good, good conversation. So sweet. All right, see you next time. Give us a follow for more business content, and follow our personal pages. Alan Gimray, Dylan Jordan W on all platforms. See you in the next episode. Peace.